somebody said, and I want to say this is five, six, seven years ago, maybe 20 years ago, because when you get old, it time yeah. packs like this. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> said this quote. They said these very words. And I thought, wow, batteries are really important. Even then, you know, I don't care whether sure. it was in your in your phone, it was in all over your house. Um, so it was like, wow, the, if you made a really great battery, that would be you could you could own you could own the world if you made a great battery is kind of what he was saying. So yeah. um, when Elon started doing it and then uh, Warren Redlick, he was one of the first ones. He said, gee whiz, we could almost value the company based on the batteries. Yeah, it's just a matter of how, what are they putting the battery in? And let's see if we can yeah. use a back of the napkin math situation and kind of value Tesla purely based on the number of batteries they make. I love the idea. He and I just had a long discussion about it on a YouTube video. And and so at the foundation of what they're doing, they've got to be ahead of the pack on batteries. That's just an absolute necessity. But because Elon plays 4D chess, mm -hmm. and he's thinking so much further out than anybody else, he has been thinking about the factory to build the battery. He's been thinking about the raw materials necessary to make the batteries. And the rest of the world has been thinking in 1D chess or maybe 2D, you know, they're, they're, they're two moves out. And they're saying, well, yeah, we're going to need more batteries. And it looks like we're going to run out of materials in, in 2027. And Elon's saying, well, no, I've got 2027 cured. I'm working on 2028 now. <laughs> so, so whether it's the raw materials, whether it's the science, whether it's the engineering, whether it's the development, whether it's the production, whether it's finding the raw materials, whether it's the willingness to get into those businesses, because I don't know if he ever really wanted to make batteries himself, but he's not making batteries. I know he said he didn't want to refine raw materials, but now he's going to refine raw materials. He specifically said he didn't want to get into mining, but it looks like, you know, there are a couple of nibbles on places where he might be getting into mining now. So, so whatever it takes, whatever's necessary to make sure that the leadership in batteries is there, that's what's taking place. And as long <laughs> as he's ahead on what it costs him to make the battery, as long as he's ahead on the, on the, on the capabilities of the batteries, as long as he's way ahead in the ability to accumulate him by making them himself or buying from others. And he has, 30% or 40% of the capacity of all the batteries in the world. Um, yeah, it's a big moat, huge moat. Yep, huge moat. You know, when, the way, when people say, oh, these OEMs, they, have, they make so many cars, but we're not talking about cars. We're talking about electric vehicle cars, which need batteries. <clears throat> and just like Apple, when you're the big dog and you have the largest market share, then all these suppliers will want to partner with you first. They'll do long-term contracts with you first. You'll have the ability to have pricing power because you're ordering, you know, a million of these batteries versus just, you know, tens, 20, 200 or a thousand. And so these OEMs, they're not, they don't have enough numbers of electric vehicles yet, but Tesla's already got millions that they're producing per year. And so they've locked in, yes. right? These supply chains. And yet because they already locked them in, <laughs> they're realizing that they're going to run out of it. And so they need to create their own. So I can't see how these competitors are going to compete at some point because yes, they might be able to produce the car through the factory, but where are they going to get the batteries from? It's, it's a big, it's a, it's a huge issue. And it isn't just getting the batteries because uh, right. it's been a little talk just today on Twitter, I noticed. And, and I've been thinking this for about a week myself is that starting to look like maybe there will be enough different chemistries for different use cases that maybe we can get past this this you know limited business the limitations in terms of being able to make enough batteries maybe i'm not 100% sure but now, sulfur is now in and and uh, and carbon uh, car you know some new carbonite types of approaches so with all the different approaches that are being thrown into the into the uh, into the pool of ideas, maybe that maybe there's enough batteries, but are there enough good batteries? Are there enough batteries that are going to work in cars? There might be yeah. plenty of batteries for storage, but are there going to be enough cars batteries for cars? And will they be the ones that give the kind of performance that people are going to be looking for? Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle, or audiobook now.